for the book links readers i think they'd be interested to know where your name came up what came from and oh yeah it's very simple i have a twin sister um and for whatever reasons lost in the midst of time could not would not uh, pronounce my name uh, correctly or invented something that sounded like Avi and uh, it stuck it stuck of all my work um, in an odd way this is the most autobiographical of my work in the sense that it's family family stories I've come to enjoy these characters very much as family. Having said that, I didn't want to. I didn't want to bury Poppy literally, but I wanted to find a, almost a metaphor for an essential ending of the story, and yet with an open part at the end. And so that's how I. Yeah, I do feel sad, but satisfied. So I never learned what they try to teach you in so-called creative writing classes, a voice. I have no voice. And, but I read all over the place. I read very eclectically. And <clears throat> therefore, and love to read. When I'm writing, simply my question is, what's the best way to tell the story? And since I'm not wedded to a style, a voice. I just, it evolves. I, I sometimes wish, and I'm the happy recipient of the Newbery, that, it, that the committee would choose just the four best books. I think in some ways we would do greater service to kids and say, here's what grown-ups thought were the, the four or five, six, ten, whatever best books, maybe you can find something here that you like. Mm -hmm. um, so that people have always complained. I mean, people, when I went to Newbury, people were not unwilling to tell me that they didn't think I deserved it. <laughs> truly. I'm uh, sorry. You know, yeah, me I mean, too. <laughs> it doesn't mean to say it wasn't good. It, it, it means to say they preferred something else, which, you know, I've been given... You, we've all been given books. Read this. This is the best book I've ever written. And you, you read it and you, you start to wonder about the person who gave it to you, right? I mean, because it doesn't match. But one of the glorious things about reading is that there is no best. Kids, when I visit schools and whatever, they you know, say, which is your best book and something like that. And I say, well, you know, there are different categories and probably the most popular book uh, in terms of actual copies is True Confessions of Charlotte Doyle. But if you take the poppy books, all of them, maybe they have as sold as many copies. Um, the book that got the most uh, positive reviews and awards actually um, is nothing but the truth. One of my favorites is The Barn, but it's won no awards, but it scares people, that book. It's too painful for them. Mm. Um, I don't know. Uh, I hope I haven't written my best book yet. Mm.